Parts of Norfolk and Suffolk have been mopping up today after being hit with more than a month's rainfall in just one day. It left roads impassable and meant trains were cancelled. Debbie Tubby is in Lowestoft where houses were flooded for the second time in four years. Debbie. Stuart, what a difference a day makes. If I'd have been here this time yesterday, this would have been like a river and the water would have been up to my thigh and it was pouring into every single one of these homes. In total, 15 houses have been flooded and you can see the destruction it's left behind. The clear-up operation got underway this morning. It's the second time in four years these houses in Oldwick Way have been flooded. It took minutes for this road to be transformed into a river. The fire service arrived with boats to help. It just started seeping through there, underneath, bubbling. Floodgates they've been given after last time didn't hold back the water from the nearby dike. We can't keep going on like this. We're all spending so much money on making our homes nice for what? For three years down the line for it to all happen again and everything get ruined. Last time these homes flooded, the tenants were put up in caravans, but many have had enough. I got a phone call to say, come back because we're flooding and we're left with this devastation and I want to move. At Thorpe St Andrew in Norwich, drivers were determined to get through the flood water. This was filmed in a car driving along the A47 at Easton in Norfolk. At Brundle, one driver had to climb to safety after his vehicle became marooned. And this is the high street in Walton where the water lapped up to the doorsteps of people's homes. In some places, a month's worth of rain fell in one day. The October average for East Anglia is about 65 millimetres and some parts of East Norfolk saw that in one day. So unusual to get that much in a short space of time and they've already had their average and we've got further rain to come later on this week. Victoria Blackwell's home in Caister was flooded with sewage after the drains were swamped. We couldn't get enough towels there. We were getting buckets of water that we were trying to get the water into it to get it back outside. So in the end, we rang the fire service and they said, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll turn out. They thought they'd be here about half an hour. They were here about five hours. Here on the Norfolk Suffolk border, it's hard to see where the River Waveney starts and ends. The cattle on the floodplain had more water than grass. Simon Watchhorn, a farmer in Halston, has 600 sows. The downpour has meant extra work. Well, after two and a half inches of rain, they've now got a lot of ensuite facilities. But uh, the pigs don't mind. They're fine. They don't mind the rain outside, don't mind the water outside, as long as they can get inside an ark and the ark is dry. Orford Primary in Woodbridge had to be closed after it was flooded and the boiler stopped working. Come in last night to take a look and the wife just went, we need to video record this just to get some evidence really because it was just shocking. This is the sixth time in the last 15 years this school in Norwich has flooded. The school says the Victorian drains just can't cope. This time the classrooms didn't flood, but the library and offices did. Yes, we're the worst I've seen in 15 years. So and it's literally flooded in both areas and luckily the classrooms didn't get flooded. It's expected to be weeks before this school has dried out. It will also take weeks, maybe months, for these houses to dry out. If you come inside, you can see this family is still mopping up. If you look to the wall, you probably can see the tide mark on how far it got, came to in this house. And the one thing that really hits you is the smell of sewage and also damp. This family's had no choice but to move out. They're obviously clearing up as much as they can at the moment. The Housing Association has offered them alternative accommodation and uh, they say that they are doing all they can. Back to you in the studio. Debbie, thank you very much.